Hi, and welcome to truckstop.com. Uh, today we're going to go over the ITS dispatch TMS system for the brokers. Uh, this is quite a good system to be able to quickly post loads onto the load board and help you find trucks that are looking to move loads as well. Uh, first, what we can do here is go over to the dispatch and look here at truck stop truck search, click in, and you can put in where you're going to be. So let's go here and we'll go San Diego. Perfect. And that goes, and we're just looking for a truck out of San Diego. Maybe we are looking for a van. Let's go van. There we go. And pick up date. Any, so there we go. And hit search. And this is going to look for some carriers out of that area. And as we can see, a rating. Good info. You can import them in. And off you go. Uh, that's how easy it is to search for uh, a truck. So maybe you can find a carrier that way. Uh, the other neat thing we could do here is go in and start a load. We haven't offered this load to anyone yet. We're just building it out. So let's go into new pending load. <coughs> we're going to put in who we're going to bill on this one. And let's build truck stop factoring. Um, we're going to put our dispatcher as me and our sales rep for this load will be me. If there's multiple sales reps on this one load, you can add in as many of those ones as well. Uh, we're going to stay it as pending because that's the only choice. Uh, work order number. Uh, let's just grab this one since it's there. And it goes and you can put in whatever you like as your work order number. If you have other numbers you want to put in, uh, broker load number, phone number, gate codes, uh, you can enter those ones in as well. Uh, if there's a CH Robinson number or something like that, you can put them in and then designate what paperwork that will show up on. All right. Hit OK. And it goes. And then you have your type of load. We're going to choose line haul. There are a few other types out there. Uh, we're going to put in, uh, let's just say, 1500. We're not going to add anything for picks and drops or the fuel surcharge or any other charges. If there are, you can add in any other charges just by going in and filling in that info so let's let's just leave a lumber charge in there why not and it goes there's our total rate 1800 and we're going to assign it to carrier and we're going to go find a carrier all right so let's see who we have here and that goes oh insurance has expired so i can call them and then i can go in and take a look see their info and as you saw, we do have Safer Watch here, so we can click that. And if you are set up for Safer Watch, you can quickly pop into your Safer Watch account and learn more about them. All right. So, and that goes simple, easy peasy. They're loaded. Equipment type choose the equipment type. We want a van. And if there's a carrier fee, we can put that in here. All right. So, we're going to go rate. go and hit OK and as you saw there was a few other options we could put in here like the lumper fee uh, advances if you want as well whatever you like all right uh, we're gonna deal in USD and now we're gonna go find a place now as you go you're gonna build more and more people into the system by just adding the clicking the add button here you can enter in all the information you need about a shipper, and you can also add them as a consignee by a click of the button. Hit save, and then they're in your system. And as you start to type the name, it will automatically appear. Fill in the information. Uh, so we're going to go to Calgary, Alberta for this one. We'll pick up at 3 a.m. And description. Once again, as you start typing things, uh, it will follow into things you've typed before, and you could just click and quickly go through it. We're going to make this a TL load. There we go. Quantity. Um, and that goes. We can put in a weight if we want, and that goes, and a value if needed. Any shipping notes we can put in, uh, go through side door to enter. There we go, and it goes. Uh, PO number, if you want to put that in, and 
custom broker. If you have a custom broker that you would want to deal with there, you can fill out their info. There it is. Perfect. Uh, consignee, where we're dropping off. So let's find a nice place to take this load to. We're going to go with Georgia Metals. There we go. And as long as it gets there by, let's give them a bit of day, a few days to get there. Let's say the ninth. They got a week to, to move there. That's good. And it goes. All the other info is there. We can even pull out a pro mile. So it's going to tell you how far it is from point A to point B. There we go. Nice, easy side of things. We hit save. And there it is posted up here for us to see. We got it showing us pending, which is great. And if I click in here now, I can post right to truckstop.com. There we go. Info's there. Hit post. And, oh, I need to put my equipment in mode in. Easy enough. Put all that in. And uh, we're going to be looking for a 53-footer. Let's say the mode is... TL, and we do have a list of commodities we can put in. And then once you do hit it, it does go over to where it needs to go and over to truckstop.com, and then it'll appear on its load board. And then once you do have um, a carrier that is going to take the load, you can put the sign the load to them and open it up. Hit save, off it goes. So now it's their load, and you can contact that uh, carrier. You can see the info on the load, which is good. And then you can put it through its paces all the way to delivered. Once it's in delivered, it disappears, and you can follow through the rest of the stuff. Uh, we're going to go over to account manager, and there's our load right here. And we can take a look, add in any other notes we want, email out stuff if we need to. And that's how easy that is. Here's where you can add the notes in if you need to. All right. So it's very simple. Uh, once it goes from delivered, you're going to move it over to completed. Hit save. So now all your paperwork's in. Everything's done. Now it's going to appear over here. And then we can do the invoice by creating an invoice by clicking here there it goes and there it is over here now and it's going to load up and this is what we're going to see for an invoice nice little company logo here who we're billing pick up drop off all the info nice simple easy invoice made up done easy all right um, now that it's been invoiced, we're going to mark it as paid. Disappears goes to the invoice and paid side of things. There we go. Look at that. We got some loads sitting there waiting to get paid. Uh, what happens if you get paid and you want to, the, the check bounces or something happens. Mark unpaid. Boom. Back over there. Get your money. Um, and you can just email them the invoice as simple as that as well. Right in any info you want in there now that you've got your money in it goes there it is everything's done loads taken care of invoiced and you move on to the next one uh, so that's a quick overview i hope that helps if you do have any questions feel free to give your truck stop broker department a call and you have yourself a wonderful day bye now